Hi, welcome back. Now we're talking about uh, tables of Bravi lattices. So uh, I'd like to talk about 2D uh, Bravi lattices first. And here's a very simple example of a perfectly rectangular or square, in fact, uh, 2D lattice. So the basis vectors A1 and A2 have the same length and they spread uh, an angle between them that's exactly 90 degrees. That makes a nice square. Now, you can make uh, the same similar arrangement and change the length of one of the basis vectors and make it rectangular and keep the angle uh, still the same at 90 degrees. That would make it uh, a Bravi lattice of two uh, uh, rectangular. Or you could, uh, for example, uh, compared to the square, change the angle to 120 degrees, keep the vectors A1 and A2 the same length, and uh, achieve a hexagonal lattice. All right, so now you can make it a bit more complicated, um, where on the top left here you have a uh, parallelogramic or oblique uh, lattice, where the angle between the vectors is not 90 degrees, and the vectors have a different length. So these four Bravi lattices are primitive, meaning they have exactly one atom per uh, unit cell. So these are um, primitive lattices, one atom per unit cell. There's one example in the family of 2D Bravi lattices that has two atoms per unit cell, and that's the uh, centered rectangular or rhombohedric or triangular uh, cell. So this one has two atoms. A1 and A2 have a different length, and they have a atom in the middle of the cell. And uh, the angle between A1 and A2 is 90 degrees. So these five uh, Bravi lattices in 2D make up um, the system in which you can define all repeated uh, 2D lattices. These are the five basis representations uh, that you can arrange objects in, in 2D in a repeated form. So if you will, that's sort of a basis set uh, of uh, periodic cells that you can achieve. So that's for 2D. Um, and now we're going to go into a 3D. And of course, we'll, we'll start uh, with a simple uh, cube. And so the simple cube has uh, 90 degrees between the three different basis vectors, and all the basis vectors have the same length. Now in 3D, the, uh, there is 14 types of Bravi lattices, and they can be arranged in a form that deal with rotational symmetry and that deal with number of atoms per cell. So uh, we'll talk first about uh, cells that change rotational symmetry on the horizontal axis, and then uh, more atoms are uh, added to these unit cells. So as I mentioned, a cube is the principally simplest way um, of having a three-dimensional space group like this. And the interesting piece about that is you can rotate um, this object in all three axes by 90 degrees and get the same object back. So this has a certain rotational symmetry of 90 degrees. You can rotate, of course, and also by 180 degrees about these axes and get the same object back. All right. Now, if you increase the length of one of these axes, so you have still 90 degrees in between uh, the vectors, uh, but you make the third axis, the, say the C axis, longer than A in the X and the Y direction. So now you can't just rotate this object around uh, only on the vertical axis, the C axis. If you rotate it by 90 degrees, you still have the same crystal. If you rotate it around the X and the Y in the plane, you actually, your crystal actually looks different. So meaning it's no longer in these two directions, it's no longer um, rotationally symmetric. And so we, in, uh, we decrease the rotational symmetry on these objects. And that is how um, people in crystallography have ordered these kind of uh, basis sets or Bravi lattices. Now, if we take the original cube, 
keep all the angles the same and change the vector lengths in all three directions. We go from cubic or, and then tetragonal, changing one vector and having all three different, you end up with orthorhombic. Ortho being still orthogonal, 90 degrees, but all three axes are uh, have different uh, lengths. And you can clearly tell if you imagine rotating this crystal around in three direction, uh, three dimensions, you no longer have any of the 90 degrees symmetry of rotational. You'd have to rotate around uh, 180 degrees to uh, achieve the same crystal. So that's part of the orthorhombic piece. You'd have to crystalline symmetry in, in 180 now, still. Now, uh, you can take the perfect cube with uh, uh, identical um, uh, lengths of sides, A, A, and A, but change all three angles. That is another way of changing uh, symmetry in this uh, 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 structure, and you end up with a rhombohedral uh, group. Um, you can then generalize this and change um, all three axes length and change all the angles to be 90, not 90 degrees. You get a, a, a group that is called triclinic. And you can tell that the, the symmetry there is, uh, rotational symmetry is very different. Um, and there's another uh, special case that's called monoclinic where Two of the angles are 90 degrees, um, and uh, the other uh, uh, angle is not 90, so it changes from 90, so it's uh, a special clay, uh, case from the triclinic. And finally, there is the hexagonal group that's described by uh, two vectors, A and C. C is sort of the growth direction, typically, the vertical one, and A uh, are the links that uh, make up these triangle in the top surface. So, all of these, the first row of Bravi lattices have a single atom per unit cell. So, there's one atom per unit cell, if, and if you repeat these cells throughout space, you can make up a whole crystal, and, and these are primitive cells. Now, you can add to these space groups uh, atoms into the very center. So you can add to the cube a, uh, an atom into the middle that's called body-centered cubic. You can do the same with tetragonal and orthorhombic. So um, in these uh, Bravi lattices, you now have two atoms per unit cell. There are face-centered groups, so you can take, for example, the cube, and on the six faces, add an atom, and uh, get the face-centered cubic, FCC, Bravi lattice. And for orthorhombic, you have a similar uh, crystal where you just added atoms on these surfaces. Finally, there are space groups called single face centered groups in the orthorhombic on the monoclinic group. Now, you see some holes um, in these, uh, in this table, and that means you can construct these unit cells uh, like that, but the point is you could have constructed them with another uh, cell as well. These are the essential 14 uh, Bravi lattices in 3D that can make up any three-dimensional repeated crystal space group. Now, there's one that's interesting for historical reasons. If you look at the tetragonal face-centered, it would look like this. And obviously, researchers have uh, studied these materials. These are also mathematical questions of, of uh, point groups and uh, space-filling issues. Um, but here is a tetragonal face-centered uh, object. And um, let's look at this one, for example. So here is tetragonal face-centered. And let's look at the atoms A here and C and put cells uh, of this tetragonal face-centered group around it. 
and then look at the atom A and C again and look into the center, take the other atoms away and you can see that now you have a tetragonal body centered uh, space group that is describing the same crystal as the tetragonal face center. So the point is um, that the tetragonal face center is uh, the same as tetragonal body center. So uh, there was a researcher called Frankenheim who counted 15 unit cells and, and listed the tetragonal face centered one. But uh, Brave was the person that pointed out that there are two cells that are effectively duplicates uh, in terms of the overall crystal description. And that is why today we think of uh, Bravi lattices, uh, not a Frankenheim lattices, because Bravi established the final, so to speak, of these 14 crystals. All right. Now, where do they show up in, in nature? Now, certainly from, from an intellectual point, the cube is the perfect example of a of a space group um, it's very symmetric but it turns out um, it's experimentally very unusual there's an example of polonium 84 but but really this hardly ever occurs in nature 70 to 75 percent of all natural crystal materials show up in these red uh, space groups so hexagonal body centered cubic or face centered cubic so again, most crystalline materials are really showing up in these three space groups. All right, so that covers um, the, the, the listing or the tables of Bravi lattices that uh, uh, people use to describe crystals that are describing uh, a com or give a complete description of crystalline materials and their space groups. And Next, I'll be talking a little bit about some density definitions and applications to common materials. Thank you.